Alright, now I'm gonna do a simple sprite kit game here, which is new here in Xcode 5 for iOS 7. So I'm just gonna call it Anitest, Animation Test, Animation Test. So I just create some files, this app delegate can move. Supporting files, assets, move to supporting files to get it out of the way. You can see what happens if we just run it. It runs on default template code here. In the iOS sim simulator. Hello world, and if I click it's Spaceship starts to rotate. Okay, so that code is in here. But if I don't want this spaceship, but I want something else, I can remove the spaceship. Remove it instead. I want to drag in this whole parrot atlas thing. Excuse me. Yep. Okay, so now I have this parrot atlas. I, I can I want to put it here. Instead of implementation, I want it as a property, which should go into an interface section. So I create the interface section and the class name is the same uh, test and it's open close parenthesis and and then property. I want one sprite. Bright node, yep, and it's a parrot, and I want to save an animation, SK action. No, it's a big S. SK action star, uh, and I can call it a flight animation. Uh, let's create a parrot. It's a texture atlas. So begin to remove this label. I can save that position line because I'm going to position the sprite. Let, let's just create uh, the, the parrot1.png is the first one. Just let's create that one first. Uh, SK texture atlas. Atlas. And that one was just called parrot, like that, because uh, over here it's called parrot atlas. You just write parrot over here, and this parrot dot atlas contains three files: parrot one, parrot two, parrot three, which, which were taken from another tutorial. Let's go back to here. Okay. So that will load those three. Now what? I take the first one, put it into fr frame one texture. I get texture named. And um, what's it called? It's called parrot one. Dot PNG. Right. And then I want to create my parrot. It's an SK sprite node. I want to create it from what? Sprite node with texture. It's very smart, this Xcode with the completion. And that was uh, F1. And then the flight animation, I can set that later. But I want to set my position. to the parrot position to the same thing that was here before. And that was the middle of the screen. And I don't want to add myself the label, I want to add the parrot. These touches began, I'm not going to do 
anything like this in here. Just remove everything. Okay. Let's see if we have a dove. Yeah, and it's, but it's only one frame. So let's animate it. When I click the mouse. Um, animation. Flight animation. Uh, hold that thought. I have to create an array first. Um, and what was it? Three frames. And frame two and frame three was not created, so let's do that. Frame two and three. Okay, so let's create an animation. SK action. What? SK action animate with textures. And as array, and the array name was parrot flight. And time per frame, let's set half a second for each fr frame. And but the animation will not be started, so let's start it when the touches began function, which is called when somebody touches the screen or in the simulator clicks the mouse on the screen. Self dot parrot call the function run action, and the action was self dot what flight animation. Yep, that should do the trick. Dove, nothing happens, and now when I click, there's an animation every time I click. So if I click repeatedly, ah, we have a flying dove. That's how you do a simple animation with SpriteKit.